ho, ho. That was a fun way to get started, huh? Some Corvette Christmas pictures, some of my old Christmas cards. Welcome to the channel, you guys. Yes, it is Tuesday. We are gonna have a quick tip for you, and it is Christmas Eve. We have a special edition of our ride segment for you that features your pets and vets coming up on today's show. Now, if you have a break over the holidays and you're doing some binge watching a Corvette Conti here on YouTube, thank you again for doing that. Make sure you check out our most recent show on our Sunday Coffee with Conti. Mike from North Carolina gets his first ever Corvette, a C7 Grand Sport, and Jim orders his fifth Corvette, a C8 Corvette. A lot of fun with this car, the cool people I get to deal with. And if you really want to know about the C8 Corvette, look on the videos tab here on my channel and check out that hour plus long interview with Taj Juchter, our chief engineer for Corvette. Yes, that video is over an hour long, but you're going to want to listen to every single minute. You want to know about mid engine Corvette, how it came to be, what we're doing, where we're going with it. Taj answers all those questions and more in that video. So thanks again for hanging out on the channel with us. Now on today's quick tip, it's more of a troubleshoot. Unfortunately, it came at the expense of my friend George in Florida. George, how you doing? Merry Christmas, sir. But I've never had this happen on C7 Corvette. If you remember in C6, your emergency brake lever was a lever in the center console, up and down this way. Let's go back to C4. It was a lever on the driver's side. You lifted it up, but you had to push that button down to put it back down. If not, the lever stuck up and you couldn't get out of the car. Well, on C7, it's an electronic button now. So what do you do if it's stuck and you can't, you can't move your car. Guarantee you, none of those moves will release the emergency brake on your C7 Corvette. But let's show you something you can do on today's quick tip from Rick. Okay, you're in your C7 Corvette and the emergency brake is stuck. You can't get it to release to drive forward or even drive to the dealership and have it serviced. Here's what you can do to possibly release it. Now, this vehicle right now is not locked up, so I can't show you the stuff on the dash, but I'm gonna walk you through those steps in the event it happens to you, unfortunately, like it just happened to George in Florida. So what you wanna do first and foremost is make sure the vehicle is turned off, but you wanna hit your start stop button here. Don't have your foot on the brake, because if you have your foot on the brake and you hit that button, you're gonna start the vehicle. So no foot on the brake right now. Hit your start stop button, turn it to the on or the accessory mode then put your foot on the brake and keep your foot on the brake. If you have an automatic transmission, make sure it's in park. Manuals, make sure they're in neutral. With your foot still on the brake, what you need to do is take this electronic brake, push it and hold it down and keep holding it down for 10 seconds. Now on your dash, the parking light will start flashing. When that happens, let go of the emergency brake, push and hold it down and let go again real quick like that. It releases the emergency brake, which should allow you to move forward. And then the first place you need to go is to your dealership and have it checked out. All right.
Alright guys, I hope that doesn't happen to you, but if it does, I hope this video proves to be helpful. Now before we finish up today's vlog with a really fun ride segment, let me just take a moment to be serious for a second if I may. I want to thank so many of you watching the channel right now for your support. And by support, I mean, number one, you're watching the video. Maybe you're a subscriber to the channel. You gave a thumbs up to this video or many others in the past. You made comments down below. You've referred customers to me even though you haven't bought a Corvette from me yet yourself or from me directly. You've given me repeat business. You've sent me a kind text. You've made a great phone call, a nice email. You've made surprise visits here at the dealership. You've bought me amazing gifts where words don't even describe how appreciative I am for that. So no matter how big, how small, that support continues to grow. I thank you all for that so very much. I want to wish you and your families a wonderful holiday and a very Merry Christmas. So today we acknowledge that other special member of our family on our ride segment. That's right, your pets. Now, vets and pets on your beautiful rides. Ho, ho, ho.